There is an adventure for the whole family waiting for you at the Alley Theater. Around the World in 80 Days is an adaptation of the classic novel. And joining me now is one of the stars, Evan Zess, who plays Passepartout. Did I say that right? That was perfect. Oh, I got to work on my French. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. This production, you're telling me, is just so much fun. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's about a stodgy Englishman okay. who takes a crazy bet to go around the world in 80 days in 1872, which is a little difficult to do back then. So he has to go through all these crazy different means of transportation. And uh, I'm his servant, a Frenchman named Passepartout, who's like a former acrobat and uh, gymnast and circus performer. Wow. So, yeah, I go along the ride with him and I bail him out of a lot of situations. And Got to do your push-ups before playing <laughs> that role. So yeah. this is really, it's visually stunning. It's a big undertaking. I think one of the more notable parts of the production is that you have Five actors playing 42 roles. Could that be right? Yep, five actors playing 42. I only play two. I get off easy. Uh, I wouldn't say that's easy. <laughs> uh, one of my castmates, Jay Sullivan, actually plays 19. Um, and he's constantly changing his clothes back. The real show is backstage. Right. Gosh, I got to get back there. That's that's a little bit wild. So how I mean, how do you even pull that off as an actor? Getting not only physically changing, but getting into 19 different characters in one night seems like a lot. Well, you have a crew backstage changing you, and the way I like to put it, it's like uh, going into a pit stop at NASCAR, <laughs> and people like descend on you, and they're taking off your wig and your pants, and oh, wow. and then they shoot shoot you right back out onto the stage, like just in time. We hopefully. need one of those to get us dressed before the shows every morning. That would be a big help. Um, tell me a little bit about your character as well. You mentioned he's a Frenchman, but you have two of them. So tell me about the dual part that you play. Uh, the first part I play, he's one of the a uh, stodgy Englishman who makes the, the wager with Phileas Fogg, and he winds up being, well, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> okay, well, he winds up being something. <laughs> something. The story, though, it spans four continents, two oceans. Also, yeah. the sets is, is such a big undertaking as well. How do you make it seem like you're in so many different places in one room? Well, the set is very minimalistic, and uh, we just use a few tables and chairs, and we use our imagination. Um, the director, Mark Shanahan, was really brilliant at doing very much with very little. And uh, it's all about the actors and the audience's imagination as they go along this ride with us. And the best part about it is kids just love it. Like, there are, we, we look out, we see five year olds, six year olds, we see teenagers, and they're just, they're laughing themselves silly. It's just oh, fantastic. I can't wait. There you yeah. are. Look at you. There you are. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. That's You're me. just hanging out somewhere. <laughs> uh, somewhere in the world. Anyway, you can check out the adventure around the world in 80 days, playing now at the Alley Theater until April 3rd. Tickets start about $27. And thank you, Evan Zess, for joining us. We appreciate it. Good luck with the production. Hopefully, you get a nap in there. Thank you so much. All right, Jen, back <laughs> to you. All right, Evan, I take it there's a lot of Velcro on the set. A lot of Velcro. <laughs> All right.